So I would say the most tricky part about this integral is knowing what to substitute because if you try and solve it with u equals to 16 minus x squared you quickly come across problems that makes it unsolvable so what you do is go to a reference table like this one and we see that the fraction is similar to the first row where we have our 16 squared minus x squared so we will be concentrating on the first row only so in this case our a is 4 so we let x equals to 4 sine theta. So now if we substitute x equals 4 sine theta into our integral, we, we get 1 on the square root of 16 minus x squared. So x squared will be 16 sine squared theta. dx. So if we want to get dx to change into theta terms, we find the derivative of this x term. So dx d theta equals to 4 cos theta. So we have dx equals to 4 cos theta times d theta. So rewriting our integral, we have changed dx to 4 cos theta d theta. We have 4 cos theta d theta over the square root of 16 minus 16 sine squared theta. So do you see how we have a common factor of 16 on now denominator? We can factor that out. 4 cos theta d theta over the square root of 16 bracket. Take 16 out, so 1 minus sine squared theta. So remember looking at this reference row, if you're using the substitution x equals to a sine theta, you expect to use the identity 1 minus sine squared equals cos squared theta. So we have a 1 minus sine squared theta here. We can replace it with cos squared theta. So we would get 4 cos theta d theta over the square root of 16 cos squared theta. And if we take the square root of this whole denominator, we get square root of 16 is 4 and square root of cos squared theta is just cos theta. So we're left with these two cancelling out. So we were just left with d theta, which if you integrate that, it would simply be theta plus c. So now we need to find theta to make it so that our integral is in terms of x's again. So what do we have here? We, we said before x equals to 4 sine theta, so we have sine theta equals to x on 4. Therefore, theta equals to the inverse sine of x on 4. So if we substitute this in, we get sine, sine inverse x on 4 plus c. And that is our answer to this integral.